We just made this welcome to our home sign without any tools. And it's even got a replaceable O. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a builder to make it a great? That's what we do on this channel every week. This week, we're making a no tools, no woodworking tools, no woodworking tools, welcome home front porch sign with the interchangeable O. You swap the O out, make it all kinds of things. Well, none of your woodworking tools. None of your woodworking tools. <laughs> Step one! We're going on a field trip to the home improvement store right. to pick up two dog ear fence pickets. Ooh. And then a small one by four. Ooh. And we're gonna use their saw to go ahead and cut two 11 inch pieces. You can use their trim saw, they'll let you. Finally, pick up your letters. We'll leave a link down below where you can get these letters that will fit this project. Yes, just so you know, we looked everywhere. We looked at all of the craft stores. Michael's, Hobby Lobby, we, Amazon. Yes, online at Amazon. And Joanne's. we could not find the correct size letters. They were either too big or too small. And these are just right. A step a two. Time to stain and paint. Kim's gonna stain the boards, that briar smoke, and I'm gonna take the letters out and give them some spray paint, I don't know, just flat white spray paint. All right, I'll be right back, babe. All right, let's do it. Step three, we're gonna glue our boards together. Remember, no wood tools of your own. The paint's all dry, but I painted the paint in the garage. I don't know if you can see it. And I left it and a kid rode their bike over every letter. <laughs> every letter had tire marks through it. And they weren't vertically, they, they were in a square. Yeah, I had How? them stacked in a square. <laughs> well, you just saw it, right? <laughs> Somebody rode their bike every letter, including the little dot in the I. I mean, <laughs> and then when I asked, nobody knew who did it. Nope. I had to catch them with the white paint on the tires. <laughs> you busted them. Yeah, so now we're going to glue it up. We got our Gorilla Glue. We're going to see if this thing really does hold everything. We'll see. We'll see. Where's this go? Uh, five and a half inches from the bottom. Here you go. I'll do it. Man, you already had it exactly five and a half inches. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Yeah, the thing about this Gorilla Glue, not the wood Gorilla Glue, just traditional Gorilla Glue, it expands. You don't want to put too much. We had that. We had that happen. <laughs> Should I put something heavy on it? Yeah. All right, that was pretty easy. Pretty painless. Brad didn't even get hurt. <laughs> Step four. We're gonna glue our letters down. <clears throat> We're just gonna glue the H M E down right now. We'll stage it with the O. Yes, we're gonna need a spacer. We're not gonna glue that yet. All right, wait. Right. 
You need to give that, how long did it say? It's like 20 minutes or something. Oh, one to two hours. It says clamp it down for one to two hours. Does that mean put something heavy on top of it? Yeah. <laughs> Two hours later. All right, we're back. Everything's dry. Everything's pretty, pretty stuck. But you know, if you can see it, the glue puffed up and it puffed out the edges a little bit. So we're gonna take a, our little exacto knife and and trim it up. So what we got so far, we didn't glue the O on. Because we're gonna do this with the O. Whoops. My bad. Thumbtack. Damn. Wait, do you need to know where it goes? I think that's it, right? Whoop. Nope, it's too high. Too high. Well that's why we use the thumbtack. Let me get it out of there. Bam. Yeah. Oh, you like the family in there? Oh, wait. You don't want like the family in there? Whoop! <laughs> Too bad! <laughs> I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, oh, alright, never mind. We're coming back. What? Like no it? tools? Alright, we're not done yet. We're gonna add a stencil at the top. Really set it off. Set it off. Number one tip, like the number one tip with adding a stencil to wood <laughs> is coating it first with Mod Podge so it doesn't bleed. Step five, we're gonna paint the white on our stencil. Big shout out to our top patrons, handmade by Vincent Ferrari. Shout out, Vincent. You want to do the bow while we're waiting for that to dry? Sure. All right, I've prepared our bows. So these are 35 inches and We've made one so that you can swap them out for each season. So there's this, all I do is wrap it, put a little tie right here with some jute. Jute? Yes. What is that? This Are we allowed to say that? Did we just get demonetized? <laughs> and so We're you can use the anyway. black and the black chevron, or you can use the Buffalo plaid for Christmas. I like the buffalo plaid. I do, but we're not there yet. So we, I mean, I do too, <laughs> but we're not there yet. So we're gonna use this cute little orange one for fall because we are in fall. And we're just gonna hit it with some jute. We're gonna add some jute to it, see? All right, jute it up real quick. All right, you're just gonna hold that thing? Yeah, I'll hold it. And then we can put a little of this at the bottom and we can leave the, oh, not that one, this one. <laughs> and leave that all year round. And I'm gonna wrap this one a couple of times. Can you even see me? <laughs> Kim, where are you? <laughs> can you see me? Babe? <laughs> yeah, now we can see you. <laughs> There we go. So cute. All right. Think we can remove the stencil? I do. It's not completely dry, but it's dry enough that you can remove the stencil. Boom. 
Bam! There it is! Can you see it? If you like this project, hit that like button. Leave us a comment. I reply to all the comments. I try not to let Garrett reply. <laughs> That's kind of messed up. <laughs> if you guys want to watch one of our past videos, I'm going to put them over top of Kimberly for saying that. <laughs>